The Daily Court caught up with author Morgan Matson at BookCon in New York City, and we're bringing you the exclusive interview. So can you tell us a little about the book since you've been gone? The book Since You've Been Gone is about uh, a 17-year-old girl named Emily who uh, has been for the last two years very close with her BFF Sloan. They sort of do everything together. Uh, she lives in Sloan's shadow a little bit. And okay. right before what should have been the best summer of their lives, Sloan just disappears. Like she's gone, her parents are gone, their car is gone, like no word, anything. She's done answering her phone, nothing. And then two weeks later, Emily gets a list in the mail of 13 things. Okay. And no explanation, they just say things like, go skinny dipping, hug a Jamie, kiss a stranger, steal something, break something. And Emily would never normally do any of these things, uh -huh. but she thinks that maybe if she does them, they'll bring her back to Sloan or explain what happened. So she begins to do these things that are so outside of her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. She meets new people. She meets this boy named Frank Porter uh, who helps her out with the list a little bit, and it sort of throws her into situations she never expected. All right, now what inspired you to write this book? It was two things. I had a friend in high school who, before I would take a trip, would write me little postcards of things she wanted me to do on that mm -hmm. trip, and I always really liked that idea. And I think it's also about my best friend and I used to be very close. We still are, but we used to see each other every day and spend all our time together. And for the last five years, we've been living in different states. And so I think it was just sort of thinking about like how to be best friends when you don't see someone every day and what it is like to suddenly lose a best friend just through distance or time or circumstance and sort of like, I just wanted to write a book about friendship. It, so does that make you more of a Sloan or more of an Emily? I've gone back and forth. I feel uh -huh. like it depends on the friendship I'm in. Uh -huh. And I feel like in high school, I was a lot more of a Sloan and like, I've been more of an Emily in college, so I feel like I, it really depends on the friendship. And I feel like the best, best friendships are where you, no one is one thing. Yeah. Like with my best friend, sometimes she's the Sloan and sometimes I'm the Sloan, and we sort of like trade off based on what the circumstances. I know, do you have any more projects coming up or more events that you're going to be attending? I am doing a signing uh, down in Orange County, California, uh, Huntington Beach on June 3rd, um, with uh, two other authors, and um, and I'm starting my new uh, book soon. I'm just beginning to write it, so I don't, I don't want to say anything about it because I'm still figuring it out. Okay, but, well, I'm sure we'll hear and about And that'll be out that. in summer 2016. Ooh, exciting. Yeah. Now, what's one thing that fans of your books would be surprised to hear about you? Oh, gosh. Um, I write very quickly. I okay. think people would be surprised to hear that because there's two books in between every, two years in between every book, I like 2014 and 2016. Mm -hmm. And people get mad at me for not writing as fast as they want me to, but I tend to write my first drafts quickly, like three mm -hmm. months, like in and done and um, that's just sort of the way I've always done it mm -hmm. um, and I think people are mad that I don't write fast enough but like <laughs> the editing process takes longer but of my course. first draft is very fast so people are like Morgan write quickly I'm like I can't write any faster than this. Now what's one book that had like a huge effect on you as a writer? Um, I, all of Sarah Dustin's books were hugely, hugely impactful for me because um, I'd been reading YA and I'd been loving YA, but they, they're always seemed to be sort of a heightened thing. It was like magical pants or a girl discovers she's a princess or like a dystopia. And Sarah Dustin's books were about just girls and summer and boys and family and friends. And they made me feel like the stories that I wanted to tell were worth telling. Okay, and now what's one piece of advice that you give aspiring writers? I would say read a lot and write a lot. Um, I feel like the, really the way you get better at, at writing is to read what other people are doing and see what works and sort of internalize how story works and or doesn't. I feel like sometimes you can learn as much from a really bad book as you can from a really good one. It's just sort of like, wait, why didn't this work for me and why didn't I believe this character? And, um, and I would read sort of more than you normally, like I, I try and read outside my genre and I read a lot and um, just because I feel like it opens up the world and sort of shows you what people are working on. Okay, well, thank you this so much. This was so great. Thank, thank you so you. much. It was a pleasure meeting you.